I got a lot of books. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight books today. Hello, you guys. I'm sorry if the angle is weird. I am actually using my camera instead of my phone like I usually do when I do these bookstore vlogs because I feel like the past few times my camera has been weird. The sound's just been weird. So I decided to try and use my camera and my mic and it's really hard to prop up a camera and a mic in a car. But hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day today and I hope you're excited for our video. If you know, you know, new month, new books. It is now May, it's not gonna be May. It is May. I am just so excited to go pick up some new books because there has been some really great new releases lately and I just, I cannot wait. So I'm going to be bringing you along as we go and get some books. There are like a lot of books that I want to get. So I'm gonna see if I'm able to show some restraint or if this is gonna end up being a very large book haul. But we are going to Barnes & Noble today. I think they're having a sale, BOGO sale or something like that and I'm gonna try and get some really good deals. And I am just so, so, so excited because I just love walking through bookstores and buying books. Honestly, it's like a comfort pastime of mine. <laughs> Let's go. away the steering wheel I am so sorry I think that I propped the camera up in an advantageous lighting situation but it was really raining out just randomly it started pouring so it's kind of like that dreary really good for pictures weather right after it storms if you know what I mean actually if you know Taylor Swift something about the way the street looks when it's just rained it's that type of vibe right now um I got a lot of books one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight books today. I'm just not even really gonna think about it. I'm gonna roll right in 
to talking about the exciting parts, aka the book. I feel like I got a good mix of like fantasy and new releases and romance. So I feel like this is like a good little mix. The first two books I got is Kingdom of the Cursed and Kingdom of the Feared. This is book two and three of the Kingdom of the Wicked series. I think that's what it's called because I am reading Kingdom of the Wicked right now, which is the first book in the series and it is just so good. I am loving it. Right when I figured out that I was loving it, I was like, all right, I need to go get the second and the third book. I have not finished the Kingdom of the Wicked yet. I am about halfway through. Basically, it is a fantasy romance, maybe? My camera stopped recording. I was talking about, oh my God. So basically I was saying the Kingdom of the Wicked series is a fantasy romance series. I'm not sure if it's young adult. It's by Carrie Maniscalco, two twin witches, and then one with, she gets her heart ripped out and they are living in a town in Sicily called Palermo, I think. They're kind of in hiding because the witches are feared in this time, so humans are after them, and they're also hiding from the devil and his seven sons. Each of his seven sons represent the seven deadly sins, so there's wrath, greed, envy, sloth, all those. The love interest is wrath, and he is a demon that Amelia summons to to basically explain what the heck happened to Victoria, her sister. And they're sort of on a mystery mission to figure out who her sister and Wrath has a vested interest in it as well. And it starts off as enemies and I'm guessing it goes into lovers just because I know that everyone says that Wrath is like an amazing book boyfriend. So I'm guessing it's like an enemies to lovers trope. They are really, really enemies in this first book they hate each other they are very much enemies right now and yeah those are the first two books i got oh my god why did the lighting just get so weird why does this always i need to stop filming in the car the next book i got is yours truly by abby jimenez this is a i believe romance this is the author of part of your world which I never read, but it was huge on book talk. She is, I think, in her 20s or 30s, and her life is just not going the way that she planned it to go. She's about to get a divorce. Her brother needs to find a kidney donor. New male doctor got the promotion that she wanted. So her life is just not going well. And this doctor that is going to get the promotion sends Brianna a letter. It's a really good letter, like the kind that proves that Jacob isn't actually Satan. Worse, he might be this fantastically funny and subversely likable guy who's terrible at first impressions. Him and Brianna start exchanging letters. The romance goes from there. And then it says that he offers to give his kidney to her brother, which is like huge. So yeah, it's like a cute little romance, I'm told. And I'm excited to read this one. The next book I got, One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is actually becoming a movie. So basically it tells a story of Emma, who is married to our high school sweetheart, Jesse. He gets into a plane crash and then he's not seen for many years. After a few years, she heals and she realizes that he's not coming back because he's just kind of missing in action. And then she opens her heart up again to her old friend named Sam. She falls in love with him. She starts a relationship with him. Just as they're getting into a relationship, Jesse comes back. I don't know how it happens, but he's back suddenly. He was found. And now she's faced with this dilemma of do I pick my high school sweetheart who I thought was dead or do I pick on my old friend this newfound love Sam that is what this book is about it sounds like a huge dilemma there's bound to be conflict and it looks like a really 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 good movie it has the actor from Shang-Chi the Marvel movie in it and he was I love that movie I love Marvel little fun fact about me I love I think his name Simu Lee Simu Simu Liu? I don't know. I loved him in Shang-Chi. I'm sure he's gonna be amazing in this book, but I do wanna read the book before I watch the movie. That is the fourth book I got. Also, Taylor Jenkins Reid. She's the one that wrote Daisy Jones and the Six and Malibu Rising, and I absolutely loved those books, so I'm guessing that I am absolutely gonna love this book. And next, we have a very popular one that I feel like I am extremely late on the bandwagon, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. So I really love her writing, and I can't wait to get into this series because I just hear so many good things about it. It is about Jude, whose parents were 
and then her and her two sisters were stolen and forced to live in the high court of the fairy think like Akatar. I'm thinking Akatar. all the fae despise humans and then she's there for 10 years and then Prince Cardin, the youngest and most brutal son of the High King of the Fairy, really, really hates her. Jude has to win a place at court and defy Prince Cardin. I am guessing that there's gonna be a romance in there between Jude and Prince Cardin. And then we have a book that I'm really, really excited to read, that it's a new release, Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. Oh my God, I was so excited when I saw this book. It was either this or Happy Place. I decided to go with Carly Fortune because this was like a very summery vibe to me and I loved the cover, it's beautiful. It seems like this is gonna be like a second chance romance trope. There's this girl, Fern, who met this boy, Will Baxter, in her early 20s and they only spent 24 hours together, but it was an amazing, perfect 24 hours together. They agree to meet back at that place in one year. Fern showed up and Will didn't. Flash forward to 10 years later, around, she's 32. She is now running her mother's lakeside resort. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Will offers to help her. I didn't say what he offers to help her do. It also says that Will is hiding something and she has to figure it out. It just seems like such a summery vibe book and I'm obsessed with the cover and I cannot wait to read this one. And now we have two more fantasy books. First is This Woven Kingdom by Tahara Mafi, which is the author of the Shadow Me series, which I am going to be reading in an upcoming reading vlog. Eliza? Eliza? I'm not sure. She's a servant, but she's also a long lost heir to the Jin Kingdom. Comes to like reclaim her throne and uproot his kingdom. The prince, Cameron, He's like, what the heck, who are you? And she's like, I'm the stolen heir. And then the story goes from there and I think she has to go through all these trials to prove herself. That just sounds like a really interesting concept to me. I am very excited to dive into this fantasy. I love the little pages. They're beautiful, the little page breaks or chapter breaks. They're gorgeous. That is the next book I got. Finally, the last book I got, Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. I read this book when I was in high school and then when I saw it again, I was like, oh my God. I totally forgot. I loved this book, but I don't really remember exactly everything that happened because I read it in high school, which was a very long time ago. And I just remember that I absolutely loved this story. I only read the first book, but now there's three books out, I think. So I decided to pick this up so I can re-get into it and restart it. I think I wrote fan mail to Josephine Angelini after finishing this book because I loved it that much. And I just really feel like rereading it. So this is Starcross. And if I remember correctly, this girl, Helen Hamilton, which is like the reincarnation of Helen of Troy, the old myth, she's suddenly having these dreams where she's walking through the desert and she sees three women crying tears of blood and I think they're like the three fates that like weave the golden threads of your life. But basically she finds out that it's written in the stars that she has to basically reenact the whole feud of Helen of Troy. She's under this curse that she has to reenact it and she also meets this family who are also characters in that myth. I think, I don't know if they're gods or demigods or something, but they have some like sort of powers i think and they're reincarnations of gods or demigods don't quote me on that i might not even know whatever i'm talking about but i'm pretty sure they are and one of them is lucas who is the love interest in this book but because of the feud helen and lucas are destined to like each other or something but she's in love with him and he's in love with her but like they literally can't help themselves that this is their fate to reenact the helen of troy and the whole feud in ancient Greece. So yes, I'm not sure if that description made too much sense, but that's Starcross. It's the first book in a fantasy series, and I am so, so, so excited to read this one. And that was all the books I got, all. Oh, I'm gonna try to do this without it falling like it does every other time. All of the eight books that I got today, these are the eight books that we got today in our bookstore 
Barnes and Noble adventure. Let me know if you have read any of these books. So yes, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this cozy bookstore vlog and listening to me talk about these amazing books. Let me know if you've read any of them and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.